Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Life Sciences Grade 10. My name is Dudu Zilebubega. Today, we are doing cahoots like I told you. But I think most people are still not here. So whilst we are waiting, let me go share. I want, I'll go share a screen so that we can do a quick revision of the things I'll cover in today's cahoots whilst we wait for them. And then as soon as they are here, we can start with the game now. We are, we are actually ahead of the schedule because this topic was supposed to take us three weeks. That is why we have time for cahoots. So for the first few days next week, we will, I want, I want to give you activities that we will do together based on the work that we've covered. We'll do class activities and I'll give you homework on some days so that we can do a revision of the work just so you can learn how to answer the questions, you know, just to get used to the work. So I've decided to do that with you next week. So for now, let's start with the revision. The work that we'll cover will be covered in today's Kahoots includes mainly the transport, which is the diffusion, osmosis, facilitator transport, and active transport. Remember, when we discuss diffusion, I'll move through these quickly. Diffusion is what? This is the movement of substances from a region of high concentration to low concentration. This is very important to understand. The movement of, let me highlight, substances from a region of high concentration to low concentration. When that happens, that means that those substances are moving down a concentration gradient. Yeah? Those are the important points this year. This is a region of high concentration. You see it's highly concentrated in this region. Then it's moving to regions of lower concentration because on all these other parts, there was absolutely no, no molecules, right? So now it's spreading across so that the concentration of the solutes as well as the so that the content of solutes and the water are balanced. That is why, that's what's happening over here. Then, this is a passive process. Remember what I meant by passive process? It does not require any energy input. So that's important for you to remember, that it's passive. And that's not the only one that's passive. The other, all of the other three, diffusion, Osmosis, facilitated transport are passive processes. They do not require any energy input. But active transport is an active process in that it requires an energy input in the form of ATP. Remember that? Samples of substances that move by diffusion include the carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water. Remember that. I'm not going to show you any videos because we've watched them together. And then osmosis. Now, the difference is osmosis is the movement of water. Remember in the diffusion, it's the movement of molecules. In osmosis, it's the movement of water, but still it occurs down a concentration a gradient as well from a high water potential to a region of low water potential. What that means, high water potential means it's a dilute solution, but low water potential means it's concentrated, meaning when we say concentrated, there's more molecules than water. That's why it's a low water potential. But in a dilute solution, there is more water than the molecules. That is why it is called a high water potential. Again, like I said, this is also a passive process. This year, remember osmotic pressure. This occurs when water enters the cell via osmosis and it creates a pressure known as osmotic pressure. And then I showed you here osmotic pressure. That's what happens over here. In hypertonic, the medium here, that means it's concentrated. Ne? It's concentrated. The medium is concentrated with a lower water potential than inside the cell. So it's the cell here. And then the medium, it's all around the cell, this liquid medium all around the cell over here. So it means it's more concentrated outside the cell than it is inside. So the water will move out, trying to balance things out. The water is moving out of the cell 
That's why the water would end, the cell would lose water. And that's, this is what will happen to the cell. But in isotonic, the concentration inside and outside the cell are equal. That is why it will be like this. The constant moving is actually happening, but there's no net loss or net gain. What goes in is the same content that comes out. So the concentrations are the same both in the medium and inside the cell. But for hypotonic, the medium has a higher water potential, meaning the medium is, is more dilute than the cell and water will move into the cell. And when water moves into the cell, what would end up happening? There's, there's, inside the cell, there's more concentration. So when it moves in, the, in the cell might even burst. Remember that? Yes. I think everyone is here now. This will be the main thing covered as well as the facilitated transport and the facilitated transport as well as what's this other one? Active transport, facilitated diffusion and active transport. Okay, now I'm going to Kahoot. Get ready, guys. We are starting. Play. You can see my screen, right? Remember, you go to kahoot.it. You just type in kahoot.it here, the direction. I, don't, I hate this sound. Kahoot.it here, just type this in your browser. And then this is the game pin that you are typing in to join the game. Then we can start. Hopefully this time we'll finish. I tried making it short. That's the game pin. You type in Kahoot. Go to www.kahoot.it to be able to join us. So I'm waiting for you guys, ne? You guys are coming, right? <laughs> Let me know so that I don't wait for that thing. Okay, I see you're coming in. Okay, okay, I'm glad to see you are joining us today. Is that everyone? Can we start? Or is someone else still coming? I think that's everyone, eh? Okay. Thank you, guys. Let's start our game. Oh, wait, is someone still coming? Can I please just confirm if you are still coming to join us? Tando is here, Pile. BMX, you are Xavier, right? Is it my getting it correct? Demnes uh, Banda, are you coming to join the game? Okay, if you are joining, you can still join using that game pin. Uh, when uh, the other one here, yeah, one, I want to check the name. Okay, Demnes, if you are still coming to join us, you can put in the game pin and you will be able to find us then. Eh? So you are welcome. Join us, please. In the meantime, we will start because time might, we might run out of time. Okay, so here yeah, you've got time. You need to type in the answer this time. The movement of substances from a region of high concentration to low concentration. What is the answer there? Uh, 
time, time. Please, do you see the time on your side? It's, it's 20, 19, 18, so you've got a little bit of time. Hackers, those who are not typing, what's happening? Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is diffusion. Only one person got it correct. Can some the other one who answered please type in the chat and tell me what you typed? It might be the, the other problem might be spelling. So this one. You need to be mindful of the spelling, particularly because it's a computer game, right? So it's programmed. If it's a teacher marking, they could be lenient because then they would understand exactly what you're trying to say. So maybe you missed one F, it's possible. Then they can be able to give you a mark. Ne? So because it's a computer game, you just might not be so lenient. Pile, congratulations, Pile. And then the passive process as it does not require any energy input. Choose the incorrect one. There are three here that are, that okay, the process that occurs is passive. There because there's no, it doesn't require any energy input. And then there is one that is not passive. So choose that one that is not passive, the incorrect option. Three of them occur through a passive process where you do not require any energy input. And then one requires energy. Ha. The answers are spread across board. Guys, I just said it even now. Passive process is the one that occurs through diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated transport because you do not require any energy input. The one that requires energy input is the active transport. Even the name gives it away. Act Active transport, it gives it away. Active, ne yeah, guys, pay, pay attention to this word. Congratulations, Tando, Tando moved up. Movement of water from a region of high to a region of low water potential across a semi-permeable membrane. This one, I will be very, very mad if you get it wrong. We just discussed it. It's the movement, I'll, I'll highlight Water, it's the movement of water. Water. From a region of high water potential to a region of low water potential. Okay, two people got it correct, so thank you. And then one person got it wrong. <laughs> it is water, the movement of water is osmosis. Whenever they say movement of water, it's osmosis, guys. All the others, it's movement of molecules or particles. Congratulations, I see even Xavier got a mark. Congratulations, everyone. Tando is still on the lead, ne? <laughs> okay, oh, okay, I understand if it was a mistake. A high water potential means the solution is what? Is it dilute or concentrated? I just explained it now as well when I was starting the lesson. High water potential means what? The correct answer is dilute. When there is a high water potential, it means there is more water than there is molecule. And then when I was teaching this lesson, I even made an example that, let's say you are making oros and you just put a little oros and more water. What are you going to, that solution is dilute, too dilute, right? Because there's high water potential, and little molecules of oros there, so it's dilute. Okay, Pile is the one who got over. Congrats, Pile. A low water potential means the solution is, well, this is just the opposite of the previous question, actually. Good, it's concentrated. Thank you, you guys are good listeners. <laughs> you all got a mark, congratulations. Question six, as water enters the cell via osmosis, it creates a pressure known as, type in your answer. I just said it, this one I gave it away when I was doing the revision with you guys. Uh, Demnes Wanda, if you wanna join the game, you can join, you see at the bottom of the screen, you see kahoot.it, and then you can enter that pin over there. So you are still welcome to join us, ne? 
We have a lot more questions still coming up. So feel free to join us there. Look below kahoot.it. Game pin is 150326. And it's open, so you can join us anytime. I gave you a lot of time to do this one because you have to type it in. I was very lenient. Someone hasn't answered quickly, quickly, quickly. Two, one. It is called osmotic pressure. Wow, thank you so much. Whoever got that one correct, let me see. It's Xavier. Congrats, Xavier. It is osmotic pressure, guys. Question seven. The medium is concentrated with a lower water potential than inside the cell. Therefore, the cell will lose water by osmosis. What, what is that state called? I explained it. It was the last part I did for revision just now. This medium here is concentrated with a lower water potential than inside the cell. Meaning outside, there are more molecules than there are inside the cell. Therefore, the, cell will leave, the water will leave the cell to go outside and the cell might deflate. Great. Two of you got it. Okay, thank you so much. It's hypertonic. So these terms refer to the medium. Ne? So it's hyper and the extended medium. Hyper. So we refer to the medium. Xavier has the highest, streak, highest answer streak of three. So that means he got, um, he's been getting three answers correct in a row and he has moved up. Question eight. Water concentration inside and outside the cell is equal and there will be no net water movement across the membrane. So if it's the same outside the cell as it is inside the concentration, what is that called? What is that? Huh, guys? No, 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 no. The correct answer is isotonic. If there is equal concentration outside the cell as there is inside the cell, that is isotonic. It's isotonic, they're the same, they are equal. Please, please remember that iso, that means there's no net movement of water across the membrane because the concentration of molecules outside is the same concentration that there is inside. Yeah? So you have your oros, your oros is almost finished, you poured water there, you pour that same oros in a glass. So whether you keep on changing and pouring more from the bottle to the glass, it won't change anything because the, the concentration of water and oros are equal. That's what isotonic means. Pile got it correct as well, and Tando, congrats. Question nine, medium has a higher water potential than the cell and the water moves into the cell via osmosis, causing the cell to burst. So inside the cell, there are, it's, more, it's more concentrated inside the cell. Okay, you guys answered that very fast. And still only one got it correct. I said to you guys, when it's like this, when this medium, we are referring, when we refer to these terms, it refers to the medium, ne? meaning the conditions outside the cell, where the cell is placed. So hypotonic means there is higher water potential. There's, there's higher water potential in the medium, meaning the solute or the molecules are more concentrated inside the cell. Then water will move inside the cell, so they balance things out. And then by doing that, it will end up bursting because now more water is moving in. Think of a balloon, where you're putting too much air in the balloon or putting too much water. Xavier just went up, position one. Congrats, Xavier. Next question. The organ responsible for water and salt regulation. What is that organ? Responsible for water and salt regulation. And that happens through osmosis, whereby the movement of water to balance the, the, con the salt concentration. It occurs in which organ over here? The water will move in and out of this organ to balance things out. Great, all of you got it correct. It's the kidneys. That is called osmoregulation, yeah, guys. And then you all got it correct. Congratulations. Question 11. The rapid exchange of specific substances. Particles are taken up 
by carrier proteins when which change their shape as a result. So this is a type of transport name whereby there's an exchange of specific substances from inside the cell to outside the cell environment. And then these particles are taken up by carrier proteins that change their shape because in their original shape, they can't pass through the cell membrane. So there are carrier proteins placed there so that these molecules can pass. Great, it is facilitated diffusion. The carrier proteins are there to facilitate this diffusion to help these molecules to pass through the membrane. Xavier is back in the game with three streaks in a row. Movement of substances against a concentration gradient from a region of low to high concentration using an energy input. So here, you've got a lot of hints. Firstly, it is moving from a region of low to a region of high. All the others we've discussed move, move from a region of high to a region of low. Great, it's active transport. Then you also have an energy input. Whenever I have an energy input, it's an active process. So it means it's active transport. Diffusion, whoever said diffusion? Why is it not diffusion? Diffusion moves from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. But active transport, the molecules are moving from a region of low concentration to a region of high. So that's the key differences you need to pay attention to. Xavier has the highest answer streak of four. Second last question. The form in which the energy occurs in active transport is called what? I told you that when you see that one present, you know that is it's an energy carrier. It's in which form? Use the abbreviation of that word. Abbreviation, ne? you need this, it's the energy input. Use the, the three, three letters that way for that energy input. ATP, <laughs> what did you guys type? Because I saw you typed. What, what exactly did you put as the answer? What did you put as the answer there? Tell me, I'm interested. I'm really, really interested to know. How guys, you, okay. All right, let me see. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. It's ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. Ne? Tri meaning there are three of those molecules of adenosine triphosphate. There are three phosphates there. Triphosphate, adenosine triphosphate. But you had a pretty good idea, Pilene. <laughs> That's good. And then now this is the last question. Question 14 out of 14. Examples of substances moved during active transport include what? Remember when I showed you that concentration gradient there? There are examples of that, so those substances that are allowed to pass through, through uh, active transport. What are those molecules? <laughs> That's an even split. It is sodium and potassium ions, guys. Remember that diagram. We'll show it to you just now. Those that it allows those ones to pass through using through during the active transport. One of the main reasons they even require energy uh, active transport is because during active transport they pass through the the carrier proteins as well. But there's an energy input. Sodium and potassium ions wouldn't be able to pass through the membrane on their own. Why? Because they are charged. So they wouldn't be allowed to pass through and get in touch with those hydrophobic tails. So they pass through the, the carrier proteins. And then another reason is that they require an energy input because they are moving against the concentration gradient. So they are moving from a, a low concentration to a region of high concentration. Whereas all the other processes move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. 
And then, yeah, we are done. Here's the podium. Let's see who our winners. Pile for number three. Congratulations, Pile. Tando, number seven. And number one is Xavier. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. That is the end of our game. So I promised you there'll be a prize. Ne? I promise there'll be a prize. You see, there's a report here. I can issue out a report card. I have another one prepared, but I don't think we'll have enough time to finish. So, because there's a report card, man, number one is Xavier. We, I told you, I promised you a prize. What, what, prize, what prize do you think I should give Xavier? Let's, let's come up with suggestions. What prize do you think do you want to be up for grabs? Tell me quickly, if you don't tell me, then I'll stay with, with my prize. If you want a prize, tell me, you guys suggest as well, because we'll play again next week. And if you win, what prize would you want? Quickly type in the suggestions there. Yeah? And then whilst you type, the book, the work is, is I used is from Siavula Grade 10 Life Sciences textbook. Go check the textbook out on the website. Just go on your browser, type in Siavula Grade 10 Life Sciences. You'll see there are many other textbooks there that can be very helpful to you. And then the Snaplify app to access all other CAPS textbooks. They would be, they come very, very handy to you. So what, uh, for more information here, this is my email address. If you guys need my help with anything, there is it over there with the life sciences related name. Yeah? And they'll be able to assist you. And then this is for the website for Africa Teen Geeks. Okay, guys, that is it for today. It was quick. It was nice. I should have made it longer, actually. But if I were to start the other one now, we wouldn't finish. So, ah, no tondo. There's no way. Even I don't use that. <laughs> hey, Xavier, where are you? What, what price do you want? Should I get you data or... Send you money, you'll go get it at ShopRite. What do you want? What option do you want? Okay, if you don't know, I'll decide for myself, ne? And then I'll give it to you on Monday. You can, yeah, I'll give it to you on Monday. I'll send it via ShopRite. Airtime, okay. Airtime is fine. If it's airtime, what network do you use? I'll, I'll send you the pin on Monday. Here, on the chat, I'll send you the pin. Then you'll get your airtime, ne? Or send it to me, send your pin to your, yeah, your network on my email over here or wherever, which number I can put it to. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. See you Monday. We'll continue. I said the first few days, maybe two or three days, I'll give you, we'll do activities together based on all of this work and maybe one last Kahoot game for this topic. Then we're moving on to the topic of mitosis. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye.